this in the quite nice. I'll try this. And butter London. My Amarillo. Half price. I got so, and it's a, a super nail polish haul from Marks and Spencers, and I got this little lot from Waitrose. Nice little set of Butter London. It's the first ever Butter London nail polishes I've got. But I'll put the light on. Hang on. Right, I'll be recording. I think we are, but I'm be too. We're going to be too washed out, I think. But uh, it's a bright sunny day. But as you know, the situation in here. Um, so, yeah, I'm not going to do the swatches of those now. I'll, um, well, I might just do those another day when I've got more time. But, yeah, they're nice. There's, and they've got then, and unusually for a set, a boxed set of nail polishes, they've actually got their names on them. I know this one's called Diamond Geezer. Oh, what a cringe, cringe worthy, cringe making name. This one's called Full Steam Ahead. I know Essie did one called that, didn't they? This one's called Smart. Just Smart. I can't remember what the other ones are called. Let's see if I can see this one's name. Where are, where are, where are, the, 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 where are their names? So I've only just got up. So I'm not, I'm not in the best of... Does it tell you on the back here? Oh, it's upside <laughs> Oh, so inadequate. Right, we've got Smart, that's the first one. It's a pale pink, nudie, sort of buffy, beigey pink. Then we've got Say Yes, this one's called Say Yes, the next one. Then it's Regalia, or is that Regalia? It's probably Regalia that's pronounced. Then it's Adventure and Waits, this one's called Adventure and Waits. Then Full Steam Head, and then Diamond Geezer. And, um,. I haven't tried any of them yet, um, I'll do the swatches another time, but I've heard they're very, very good nail polishes. And these I got from Marks & Spencer. I thought they were Marks & Spencer's own make, because it was in that section where the autograph ones are, but they're not. These are by someone called Deep Della Palmer. Deep Della Palmer. No, D I can't even read properly, sorry. Diego Della Palmer. Diego Della Palmer. Diego Dalla Palma. I don't know what that means, but now I'm looking for um something to wipe the swatch off. And what I liked about these, they've actually got testers for them in the store, which is very unusual nail polish. I mean, how many times have you bought a nail polish because it looked lovely in the bottle, only to get it home and find out that it's so sheer, it's like the Essie Sugar Daddy. I know I always come back to that one, but that's one of the worst. You think it's going to be a really nice nail polish and then when you get it home and there's the brush i must be careful not to drop any on the laptop and i did try those in the store and i think these are going to cover in one coat i hope that's showing up this one's called oh, i can't see in this light it's so dim in here i'll put that on later this um I did see it, but this one's something naked, something or other, or something like that. Yeah, I would. I mean, I would have thought the other one would have been called the name. This one is for some reason. I don't know why I thought that at the time, but I'll put what the names are. I've got white screen now, so I'm hoping I can't see myself. So I'm hoping you can see that it's going to be a perfect mannequin hands nude. I think. Got, I've got a couple of these nice little bags from Waitrose. Oh, they're so sweet, and then they you, you open, they pull out into this, and I like the, I love this pattern, the Christmas one they do. It's, it's a pretty colour as well. So it's a nice fabric bag. So it's not like on the, you know those were the handles that just break. So and then I suppose you fold it up, and it goes into somehow you fold it all up into. Let me see if I can do this. <laughs> I've never been much good at doing this sort of thing, really. I'm not, but I'm going to try. Just show everyone to see if I can do it. 
I'm trying to put on a brave, brave front face. I don't like the cold weather. It makes me even more depressed and down than ever. I've got, I don't know, the, all your problems and that seem sort of worse than the cold, I think. I know some people prefer the cold weather, but I, oh, I don't. And I sort of, that's as best as I can do, I'm afraid. It's one of those things that you press that and uh, there we go. Oh, look, I did it, sort of. There's one I haven't opened yet. And that's what they go. Oh, it's like a little Christmas bauble, isn't it? Oh, that's so cute. I'll take this off before I use it, obviously. Hello, Ginger. Oh, but they've got a Princess Luna. I wanted a Pinkie Pie, but they didn't have any. But... doll has arrived with flimsy packaging its legs broken I mean its head was separate anyway but I mean honestly mm -hmm. Poor little girl. Now, really mean it doesn't these red shoes are too small for her and um, she doesn't need to go on the beach so I've taken her shorts off and And this poor girl arriving with only one leg. I've given that thought to she can have this. I was going to give it to um, Marlise, but she's got plenty of clothes now, so she can have that. I've taken these shorts off Wilhelmina because um, I think she doesn't really need, need to go on the beach. She's got an old-fashioned Barbie body, and they don't really look good in um, bikinis. And I've given her those pink shoes, and they actually fit her, and they stay on her feet, which they don't on everyone, so... So there, they they are a bit bright for this dress, but I think they look nice enough. They they match that part, and um, and we've got these red shoes if she wants to wear them in the summer with her shorts and her top. So, well, there's a swatch of this one. It smells nice, but I hope it's going to be longer lasting than that. What was it called, Grenna or Reverend, or whatever it's called? I bought before. But yes, yeah, so I've got this one from Superdrug. I'm sure these are made by Thorntons. Now this one I don't recognise, but I certainly do all the others. This is my favourite, that's lovely that one. And this light. <laughs> So yes, it's raining. It is raining. Sainsbury's took me by surprise by closing early tonight, even though their cafe was open to the usual time. At least I was able to go in there. And now it's raining, so... Oh. 31st of December today, I was going to do my whole video, but I could hardly talk. Oh, I was there. I got flu or something, and um, I can hardly talk. So I'm just going to have a baby sham for now and try and do. Oh my goodness! I'll try and do the whole video tomorrow. Oh, I can hear my voice. It sounds really weird. Oh, there's my baby sham that I'm 
going to have it might make me feel a bit better oh, Okay, I've got this umbrella through necessity on Saturday night because it started raining when I was at Sainsbury's and I've forgotten to take my umbrella with me, my trusty stormproof, stormproofer. But look at that, isn't that? It feels sort of slightly gentle and soft feeling. Not the sort of soft feeling that will get dirty in no time. Wipe clean soft, but still quite nice. I don't know if it's showing up because I've got white screen again and um, it's a bit dim in here so the webcam might be overcompensating by over lightening everything so I better put the light on haven't I don't know so yeah it's quite sort of soft oh, I don't believe it I got up to put the light on, because okay, I can't see myself because it's white screen. I came back, struggled away, croaking away, trying to doing this whole. I think I hadn't recorded anything, and I'm trying to do it again, and then this happens. I was saying I think Tesco is the only place that actually sells baby sham now. Oh, where did I, oh, I don't even know where I got to. I showed those, did I, the Butter London. I'm going to do the swatch. I'm not going to do the swatches again now. So, sorry, I can't. There's only a limit to, you know. I've... These Thornton's Mints, two bags for pound eighty in WH Smith. They are delicious. And this from Marks and Spencers. Now, I'm pretty certain that these are made by Thorntons. They used to make them for Marks and Spencers, and I recognise all of those as Thorntons, apart from that one. I don't recognise that one with the green centre. But, um, yeah, I swear they're made by Thorntons. Princess Luna. A Thai beanie baby thing, I think they call these. Princess Luna. My Little Pony. I never got... I, they never had Pinkie Pie. Oh, I would have probably got Pinkie Pie. No, I like Pinkie Pie, but I would have got Pinkie Pie as well as this one because I think this one's really pretty. I'm not that au fait with the My Little Pony world, but um, I do like I do like a lot of the My Little Ponies. This now polished by L'Oreal in the in oil infusion range, uh, shade two two one. Um. The one I used for, by them before, the only one I've ever used by them, though I've got more than one, is the Grena au Reverend. I don't know how you pronounce it, sorry if it's wrong, but I was so disappointed at how it chipped. They smell lovely when they're on. They've got like a scenty smell when they're on. They're not like scented nail polish, but they smell like essential oils, but they do chip. But I mean, look at this model's own one, what that's done, and it's all right on this hand. This is terrible after not even a week. These from Poundland, eyeshadows, they're very, very good. That's like a dark grey or black, a pearly pink and a pale pearly pink and a pearly white. And um, from Poundland, I got a My Little Pony calendar. It should be up because it's the 1st of January today. You know, that goes up at my friend's house. So I'm starting it with a rotten cold or mild flu. This also from Poundland, a nice art deco tile stump style like the 1920s style calendar which is very nice this half price in sainsbury's this necklace can't believe i'm having to do this all over again i just did the whole oh dear oh dear so disheartening this from sainsbury's this bracelet half price it's quite nice my jumpers well came from sainsbury's they do nice things in there sometimes this wait, Sainsbury's uh, accessories by Sainsbury's that that the cat ears you know I like the cat ear headband is that from Sainsbury's and I got a nice sparkly headband from Tesco and then must have left it there because I haven't got it a nice necklace from Tesco this from Tesco a musical uh, mis another musical biscuit tin how many musical biscuit tins does one need you may well ask I 
don't even know what the tune is, I don't recognise it when it's playing. I must say, I think the cut cardboard type cut out deer and trees look a bit cheap, but there you go, you can't have everything. So they tell me. Now I've never, I don't think I've ever drunk Malibu, but I got this from Tesco because I wanted the pineapple dish, the free pineapple dish, and it was the only one, this was the only one they had in there like this. It says, um, Malibu pineapple and lemonade. I don't know if I'm going like, to like it, but I'm not too keen on lemonade, but pineapple cup. More drinks. I don't know what that says. I can't even look at things properly. Show your pineapple cup pics with us. I don't think so. Just now when I looked, it says something about, oh yeah, because summer. I said something about summer, but that's gone. There must have been a something hanging, oh my goodness. Must have been something hanging on it. Try new, new Malibu pineapple. Oh dear, I should be in bed really, but then I can't sleep when I'm in bed with this cold and what with the neighbour noise in the night. And oh dear, oh dear. Anyhow, anyhow, you know, so your pineapple cup. And um, I don't want the video to go on too long, so I should do the polished swatches another time. I've also got this one of, another one of these bags, bags from Poundland, Elsa and Anna bag, and from Tesco, a My Little Pony bag, which I did show all just now, obviously, but you never saw any of it. So there we go. There's Pinkie Pie, isn't it? That's Pinkie Pie, that one. But, um, I don't think there's Princess Luna on here. It doesn't look like it. She's like blue, it's blue themed. So there we go. So perhaps I can, um, yeah, I can't, I can, I can, oh dear. I'm going to do it all over again because when I sat back down after putting the light on, it stopped the recording, and because I can't see myself on screen because it's a white, it's completely white, I, I couldn't, I didn't know it had stopped recording. Oh, God, just what I could do without it when I'm not well. I'm going to have to do these swatches another time. I'm sorry, I can't do this. I, I cannot do this all over again. I just can't. I'm not, I'm not up to it, and it, it makes me nearly cough as well. The smell of the nail polishes, and um. Yeah, the Grenna and Reverend I had by them didn't go down too well, I must say. It chipped. It was a nice colour, but um, but that model's own is dreadful, though, on this hand. It's all right. And that's the trouble with red nail polish. It looks tatty and scruffy and horrible looking once it starts to chip. It hasn't even been a week. These are two nail polishes and two lip glosses. And I'll focus on all these nail polish things in another video. I, I just cannot... I'm not up to it, I'm sorry, I'm doing the best I can, but I'm really not up to it. My dear little friend over there, asleep. She's been with me all night. She left out every night in terrible weather conditions. No matter how strong the wind or how cold the ice, no matter how torrential the rain, the poor little thing's left out with no shelter. And yet they don't like her coming in here. They think if she's, she's out, well, she ought to be out, not in anywhere, because they put her out at night, and that's where she ought to be. And yet they have someone else's cat goes in there and drives her out. But oh no, she mustn't come in here and have a place of refuge. And the p other people don't know their cat goes in there. But oh, that's all right. But I think I mustn't go on about it. I just find it so unfair. But who was it said to me once? Nobody said life had to be fair. Yeah, so what? As long as it's fair to us. Tough. You know, that's the attitude, I think. So some people are so... Oh, don't get me started. Anyhow, this little dolly came from China, but and I gave this, she's called Maybell, I've named her Maybell, but look, her leg came off in the post. I'm going to have to try and glue it on somehow so she'll have a leg that won't move. And this thing keeps playing a tune under its own volition. That's, I don't know where I am now, I'm, my mind has gone like jelly because... This is about the third time I've had to do this. The first time it only recorded the first part because when I sat down it stopped. 
And then I tried to do it again, and, and that was all wrong. And so, I don't know, I've lost count now of how many times, so I'm going to have to give this up now as a bad job and try and do better when I do the nail polish swatches. And... Oh, there she is. I know she was my little cat. I'd be pleased to think she had a place of refuge if I was, like, out or something. But, oh, no, they don't think like that. There's the hypocrisy of it. The fact that they have someone else's cat that drives her out that goes in there, and that cat's owner wouldn't know where it is, that tabby, and it drives this little one out, and then she comes in here to me. She's my little friend. So pretty. Oh, but dear little puss there. So sweet. It's sleepy. Poor little puss. So oh, cheers. Baby Sham. Very nice it is too. There's Rontan's Teddy. Oh, she just said on the radio that Easter is early this year. Oh no, I hate that. I hate it when Easter's early. It should always be in April. Preferably the last week in April. For me, anyway. Why do they have to have it in March? I think that's what she's talking about. But it was only... I'm sure the year before last it was in March. So why have we got to have it in March again? Anyhow, I am swear these are made by Thorntons. They're, um, they are slightly different. Now, there's a fudge one, which they're not in Thorntons mint. And there's this one, which, but then that's a Marks and Spencers exclusive. But th this, these, that is definitely a Thornton's. That is delicious. I love those. But this is a new one. They don't do that one in their box of mint. Well, oh, fudge. Hmm. I might do another dolls and chocolate video. Because I did the other Marks and Spencer's one. So I'm doing a nail polish video that's just done it at the same time, but now I'm overcome with heat, sweating, because I've got this flu. Oh, so I'm signing off. Mm. I've put my embellishments around because we're still Christmas. With the 3rd of January and it's Christmas until 12th night, which is the 6th of January, but yeah. Oh, these are really nice. Hmm. They had to be upside down, didn't they? But yeah, nice.